Hey, what is going on YouTube? It's Andy CVPI from Instagram coming to you guys with another video about my project CVPI. Guys, in this video, I am going to be doing a whole entire engine detail. I'm going to clean the hell out of this thing. And anyways, I did go to an AutoZone. I mean, you can go to any parts store, but I always choose to go to AutoZone. I have the rewards program with them. And anyways, I will be doing an oil change. I use 5W20 for the motorcraft, synthetic. Obviously, I need to get six in total. And then I just buy this little oil filter. So I will be making a video where I go and I start unscrewing it. But just to give you guys a basic idea, I am going to start off with the oil change first because I do need to move this car out of the way, the Honda Accord. And clearly, I don't have the keys to it right now. So I'm going to have to put it in the middle in order to start cleaning the engine bay. So I will start off uh, basically with the oil change. So hold up, guys. So as you guys can tell, the car has been moved out of the driveway, but I am ready starting to do the oil change. As you can tell, I do have a lot of jack stands. I always use a lot of jack stands because I do not like taking any chances. I just have the ratchet chilling right there. That's obviously the little bolt right there where you drain the oil, and I do have a lot of jack stands. These right here are not even touching it yet, but that's just in case if it were to fall. I have two right there, the hydraulic lift, the jack stand, and then I have two jack stands on this side because I do not want a 4,000 pound car falling on me. And yeah, I'm not gonna record how I did oil change. It's pretty simple, you unbolt that, if the oil comes out, close it back up, go up there, do the same thing, go to the oil filter, change it out. Basically, it's really easy to do an oil change. I'm not gonna explain it any more than that. And then I'm just gonna show you guys the detailing products I use for this. I pretty much just use one spray all the time. And I am gonna clean it first with water, with a hose, and then go ahead and clean it again with a detailing spray that I bought from a local parts store. So that's gonna be in a bit. So I did start cleaning the engine bay at night time and it did turn nice so this is actually why I'm giving you people uh, look at it right now during the daytime when the sun is shining on it. As you can tell this is not mine. Mine car, my car is right here and here is the Oreo. The Oreo is right here. What I pretty much use is uh, basically spray it down with a hose and then I always use this one. Turtle wax inside and out. Quick and easy. This really works guys. It's seven, eight dollars at any parts store. Go ahead. Spray it with a hose, don't use too much force though. Uh, make sure it dries and I basically go on this, spray it step by step, the whole entire thing, and get in between all the little holes. But yeah, look at the result of this man. Straight up brand new engine bay, it's restored. And I did do an oil change, the oil change is officially done. The engine bay is restored, even the whole hood up here is restored as you guys can see, it's perfectly all black. But yeah, it did only take like an hour and a half to restore the engine bay. Oil change, 30 minutes, so it's a really quick and easy job, but does take someone that really wants to, you know, have time and want to clean the engine bay. But that's how I restore an engine bay, and that is exactly how I get the job done. So if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos about my project CDPI.